Hello all, El Presidente Tell here. Christ, what a week it has been. First, Sky Broadband goes down. Secondly, I have to completely restore my laptop. But hey, thank God I'm back, huh? Missed you all. Now this one is only going to be a quick one. It's uh, on my old friend, Atheist Spanker. And it's to do with a comment that he left on a video of mine. I'll leave a link below as what he said. I'll read it out for you in full. Atheists know God exists. If you'll notice, they spend little time worrying about Allah or Buddha. Obviously, they're angry at the true God, and though their reasons vary a little, basically, it's because God won't do what they want him to do. They're all phonies who spend most of their time trying to convince themselves and others that they don't believe when they do. They're throwing temper tantrums at God in their claiming that he doesn't exist. Atheists are just frustrated crybabies. Right, you strapped in on that one? Okay, good. Because um, I'm, I'm ready to take that one apart. So, to take it point at a time. Atheists know God exists. No, they don't. That's the whole point of atheism. The fact of atheism is the fact that you don't believe in a god. More importantly, most of the atheists on the internet, I don't think, would actually care that there's a god or not. Because it doesn't impact their day-to-day -day lives in any way, shape or form. They don't have any kind of structure of religious doctrine that they follow. So the requirement of a belief in a deity to get through their lives is rather meaningless. If you'll notice, they spend little time worrying about Allah or Buddha. Right, that completely shows that you're ignorant with regards to faiths other than Christianity. Because firstly, if you'd looked at Buddhism, apart from a few people that do venerate the Buddha, none of them think of him as a god. Because he isn't one. He never was one. He's just an enlightened man who reached Nirvana. Because that is the whole point of Buddhism. You reach higher and higher levels until such time as you reach enlightenment and become one with everything. And they don't worry about Allah? Have you seen the amount of debate in the YouTube free thinking and atheist communities about Islam and how to deal with it? You know, if you want a typical example, look at the Thunderfoot Coughlin debate. And the draw Muhammad day, what that that wasn't any that wasn't atheist, that wasn't to do with anyone. Oh no, of course not. You Spanker, you really are a totally ignorant when it comes to atheism. What you've done is you've done what a lot of people do, is you've come on here with the only ammunition you've got, which is the Bible. That's all you've got. Once you find out that either A, most people can contradict the Bible, B, the Bible contradicts the Bible, and C, most people don't actually care what the Bible says because no one treats it as a historical document anymore. What have you got? You've got nothing. You come on and you make you make comments like it's what because God won't tell them or won't do what they want them to do. Well, don't you want him to do what you want him to do when you pray? What's praying but impinging on a divine friendship? You know. <sighs> They're all phonies who spend most of the time trying to convince themselves and others they don't believe when they do. You have no you have no knowledge of that. You don't know about these people. You've not talked to any of them. You all assume that they're closet theists. I would say that most of the people I see on YouTube are devout are atheists. Devout may be a bit of a pun word there, but you know what I mean. They're absolutely avowedly atheist. They do not believe in a god. They're probably even more atheist. Because I can't subscribe to the atheist theorem necessarily 100%, but I do agree with their secular thinking. I don't want religion to influence everything. Throwing temper tantrums at God and atheists are just frustrated crybabies. You're the one that sounds like the crybaby spanker, because you've come on, and once you've got someone who confronts you with a bit of logic, you come out with crap like this. And then I, ask, I say to you, I'll comment back to you, and you said, what for? No one stumbles on, set the occasional drunk. Because you don't know. You don't know anything. You've got nothing, Spanker. Nothing that a million atheists haven't heard before. So, you know, 
let, let me answer some of the questions now. Um, the Bible isn't a historical document. Jesus may have existed, we don't know. Never been any solid evidence aside from the Bible and a completely fabricated um, paragraph in Flavius Josephus. And if you're going to start talking to me about the creation of the universe, the only acceptable answer from anyone, atheist and theist alike, as to how the universe got here is, we don't know. But I think since you've not got back to the last video I've got and you're running out of ammo, I think we're pretty much done here, Spanker. So you run along and go and be some training pwn for someone else, all right? This is El Presidente Tell, back on YouTube. Love, peace, and liberty.